Hey sixth grade, we are getting ready to get started on doing work with fractions and our first lesson today is going to be about multiplying fractions. So if you need to get your math binder and a pencil and paper and any other materials you can think of that you might need, you need to pause the video and go get them now. At the top of your page in your notes you need to write that this is lesson 3.8 multiplying fractions. Lesson 3.8, Multiplying Fractions. Your learning goal, which you need to write in your binder, it's pretty quick and easy. It is very simply, today I will multiply fractions. So go ahead and pause so that you can write, today I will multiply fractions. Alright, so when it comes to multiplying fractions, I'm going to show you four different strategies that you can use to multiply. You can use all four of them. You can choose your favorite strategy. You just need to choose whatever works best for you and how your brain works. So we're going to go over all four of them. And then at the end of the video, um, oh, there will be a couple of examples for you to do in your binder and then bring with you to school tomorrow so you are prepared for class. So our first method is multiplying and then simplifying and we're going to use the same problem for all four examples just so you can see that we get the same answer each time. So we're going to go with 3 eighths times 4 ninths. And then we just multiply across our numerators and we will multiply across our denominators. So 3 times 4 equals 12 Gotta put that dividing line. 8 times 9 is 72. Now we need to simplify our fraction, and we know that both of these numbers can be divided by, oops, 12. So divide both the numerator and the denominator by 12 so we can simplify. 12 divided by 12 equals 1. 72 divided by 12 equals 6. And there's your first strategy. So you multiply and then simplify. Okay, strategy number two is find a common factor and then simplify. So once again, we will use 3 eighths times 4 ninths. And just like on the last one, we'll multiply our numerators. 3 times 4 equals 12. And then our denominators, 8 times 9 equals 72. So, let's see here. If we factor these out a little, or find our common factor, which would be 12, 12 times 1, and for the denominator, 12 times 6, the 12s cancel each other out. And we, all we wind up with is 1 sixth. Okay, strategy number three is prime factorization. And you guys know a lot about prime factors, seeing how that's what we've been working on for the last few weeks here at school. So let's go again with the 3 eighths times 4 ninths. It's going to equal something or another. So we have to multiply our prime factors. So 3, the prime factor of 3 is 3 and 1. Prime factors of 4, you have 2 times 2. Then we come down here for 8. Prime factors of 8, you have 2 times 2 times 2 multiplied by our prime factors of 9, which is 3 times 3. Now, you can go on ahead and cancel out numbers that are the same in both the numerator and the denominator. So I'm going to cross out the threes, turn those into ones, cross out both pairs of twos. Whoa. And what we wind up with is one times one times one, which is one. And then one times one times two, so we have two times 1, still 2. 2 times 3 is 6, and we still come up with 1 sixth as our quotient, as our answer. 
And our fourth and final strategy is reducing the numbers up front and you reduce your numbers along the diagonals. So what that means is still use 3 eighths times 4 ninths. So it is possible right now for us to go on ahead and do some reducing because 9 can be divided evenly by 3. So 3 goes into 9 3 times, 3 goes into itself once, 8 can also be divided evenly by 4 because 4 times 2 equals 8, 4 goes into itself one time. So across the top with our numerators we have 1 times 1 which is still 1, and with our denominators we have 2 times 3 which equals 6. So we just tried four different strategies, all four of them got us the same correct answer. So you just get to pick and choose which works best for you. Okay, we're going to do a couple of problems together, and then I'm going to give you two problems to do on your own at home, and then you need to bring those back with you tomorrow to class. So, let's start with, we're going to even use mixed numbers, we're going to get a little crazy here, 2 and 1 half times 3 and 2 fifths. First of all, we have to change our mixed numbers into improper fractions. So we multiply the denominator by the whole number and add the numerator. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So we have 5 halves times something else. Let's find out. We have 5 times 3, which equals 15, plus 2, that's 17, 17 fifths. Well, I already see something that we can do. If you look here, you see that you can already do some simplifying just by looking at our diagonals. We have a 5 and a 5. Those cancel each other out and become 1. So 1 times 17 is 17. 2 times 1 is 2. Well, how many times does 2 go into 17? So what, 2 times 8 is 16, then we have 1 half left over, and we come up with 8 and a half. Okay, for our next example, we are going to do 4, whoops, 4 and 1 fifth times 2 and 1 seventh. All right, so once again, we have to turn our mixed numbers into improper fractions. So 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 gets you 21 fifths, times, let's see here, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1 more is 15, we have 15 sevenths. So let's see here, how can we reduce already? Well, I know that 7 goes into 21 evenly 3 times, because 3 times 7 equals 21. And then, ooh, 5 goes into 15 evenly 3 times, and 5 goes into itself once. So now we're going to go on ahead and multiply. 3 times 3 equals 9, 1 times 1 equals 1, so the answer to our problem is 9. Okay, so now that you've seen a couple of examples, I'm going to give you two problems for you to do while you're at home this evening. Um, like I've said before, make sure that you record them in your math binder, and you show your work, and you bring them with you to class tomorrow. So the first problem I want you to do is... 2 and 2 thirds, whoops, where did that, okay, go, times 4 and 1 fourth. And you can rewind and take a look back at the strategies that we tried um, that I showed you earlier in the video. Rewind, take a look back at them, see which one works best for you. Here's number 2. And this one is 1 and 3 fourths times 2 and 2 fifths. All right, so there you have it. Those two you need to do tonight and bring them back with you to class tomorrow. And good luck. Have fun choosing your 
favorite method.